Your body has several protective barriers. Think of them like levees designed to keep your inner world calm and your outer world mostly out. Your important ones are your gut lining, your skin, your respiratory tract, your sinuses, your lungs. And we don't talk about it as much, but for women, our genital urinary tract is in there as well. These barriers in many places are only one cell layer thick, particularly in the gut. And that one layer of cells stands between the contents of your intestines and your bloodstream or the air in your lungs and your bloodstream. These cells are connected by what we call, at least in our gut, tight junctions. They're little protein structures that act like gates, carefully controlling what gets through and what stays out. When everything is working well, nutrients get absorbed and everything else stays out. But here's what many of my patients experience. They've been under chronic stress for years. They've had multiple courses of antibiotics, maybe even dating back to when they were itty bitty. Their diet has been heavy on ultra processed foods because honestly, they barely have time to breathe and let alone cook elaborate meals. Or in my case, like my, I feel like my generation, we were brought up on pop tarts and grilled cheese sandwiches and Doritos. They've had recurrent infections, poor sleep. You get the picture. All of these factors can damage those tight junctions. They make the gates loose or leaky. That's what we call intest increased intestinal permeability or many times you'll hear it referred to as leaky gut. Once this happens, things that should typically never enter your bloodstream start making their way through. So let me get specific about what happens when your gut barrier is breached, because this is where the science gets critical. When your gut barrier is compromised, bacterial products, for some, particularly something called lipopolysaccharide or LPS, can translocate across the barrier and into your bloodstream. LPS is part of the cell wall of certain bacteria, and your immune system recognizes that as a major threat. The moment LPS enters your bloodstream, your immune system sounds the alarm. It activates innate immune cells like macrophages, dendritic cells, and these cells release inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta. This is how a local gut problem becomes systemic. It's not though just bacterial products, Partially digested food proteins can also cross the barrier, and your immune system can see these as foreign invaders, especially if they're larger protein fragments that shouldn't be there. So this can trigger both innate and adaptive immune responses, and in some cases, it can even trigger the production of autoantibodies, antibodies that mistakenly target your own tissue. 